So Manchester United have had an away trip to Anfield, an away trip to Benfica, and on Saturday we've got an away trip to Premier League newcomers Huddersfield Town. Effectively a local game, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Manchester United being in a new stadium. I'm looking forward to the game because Huddersfield are bang out of form at the moment. Huddersfield right now, they're 12th in the Premier League. They've played eight, won two, drawn three, and lost three. They haven't won in five games. And the most recent match, they lost to lowly Swansea City, who have been struggling even more so than Huddersfield this season. If you look at their goals as well, they've only scored one goal in the last five games. And in that same time, they have conceded nine. Now, Huddersfield started the season very, very strongly, won their opening game. I think they won their opening two games. And Manchester United will level on top with Huddersfield, but they have lost that early season momentum. David Wagner, a fantastic coach, and Huddersfield did fantastic to get up from the championship last year. And because of how well they started, I thought, you know what, Huddersfield, they look good this year. And I still stand by the fact that I don't think Huddersfield will go down. But they certainly need to turn it around. And they really got pumped by Spurs 4-0. And Manchester United right now, yes, we didn't play that well against Benfica, but we still won 1-0. We got a draw away at Anfield, our hardest game of the season. And if you look at us in all competitions, played 12, won 10, drawn 2, lost 0. Nine clean sheets in those 12 games. Try and tell me that Man United have had a bad start to the season. Going into the game, there are some injury concerns. So here's the latest team news for you. Marcus Rashford, it sounds like he might be out with a knee injury. So fingers crossed he isn't. But I think even if he's slightly not fit, I wouldn't risk him for this game. Just start Anthony Martial. Give Rashford a game off. Phil Jones, it sounds like he's going to be back. That's what Mourinho said after the Benfica game. But Eric Bailly will not be available. Two players who may be available, Fellaini and Pogba. Mourinho hasn't completely ruled them out. And again, would you risk one of them if either of them are fit? Because Matic and Herrera seem to be slow, working slowly together in midfield, but not as, as good as we would have hoped. Matic against Benfica was one of our best players. Herrera, you know, he hasn't had as much influence and impact this season at Manchester United. Our player of the year last year, been kept out of the team a lot by Pogba and Fellaini. Would you start Matic alongside Herrera, or would you try and switch it up and maybe bring Carrick in for this game? Anyway, here's my predicted 11. So in goal, David De Gea obviously going to start. World's best goalkeeper, let's move on. Antonio Valencia and Ashley Young, that's who I'm putting in as the fullbacks in a 4-2-3-1 formation with Jones and Smalling in the middle. I don't think Victor Lindelof will be starting a Premier League game anytime soon. That's not because I think he's that far off, but it just seems to be how... Jose Mourinho is handling him at the moment. And with Eric Bailly out, he's obviously not going to start. In midfield, I have gone for Matic and Herrera again, with one matter in front of them. And I've gone for Mkhitaryan and Martial on the wings, with Lukaku up front. Now, Mkhitaryan's been a little bit off form in the last couple of games, but he's been one of our most influential creative players going forward this season. So I'm definitely going to keep him in the team. I don't think Jesse Lingard would be able to offer any sort of creativity that Mkhitaryan wouldn't be able to offer. So I don't think there's an upgrade in that respect. And Paul Pogba is missing at the moment and we're really struggling creatively. So we need Mata and Mkhitaryan to have a good game. Uh, Lukaku was isolated against Benfica and against Liverpool. We need to get him in the game more, give him more opportunities to score. Yes, he had a clean cut chance against Liverpool, but not every striker in the world can score 100% of his chances. We need to give more to Lukaku. When we were feeding him more opportunities, he was scoring goals aplenty. Now he's had a couple of games without scoring, we need to get him more opportunities. By doing that, Matter and Mkhitaryan, I think both of those can do it. Now, as you know, Ladbrokes back in United People's TV for the season. Uh, bet £5, get £20 free. What more could you want? There is a code in the description. Make sure you click that follow through onto that. My bet for this game is going to be Man United minus three goals. I think Huddersfield, Spurs really tore them apart. And Huddersfield are building a really bad habit of playing around with the ball so much at the back that it's letting teams get chances high up the pitch. And I hope that happens against United. I hope we can get an early goal and go and win it. Because my prediction for the game is 4-0. Man United's favourite result this season. We got it against West Ham. We got it against Swansea. Got it against Crystal Palace. Would have had it against Burton Albion, but we conceded one. Would have had it against CSK Moscow, but we conceded one late on there too. I'm going for 4-0. I really can't see Huddersfield putting this out of the bag. And maybe this is another one of those games, just like Stoke away, where I was so confident in the win, that turned out to be a draw. Fingers crossed it's not one of those games, but Huddersfield really are poor right now. And if there's one thing United are doing well at the moment, it is not conceding goals. So we are not letting teams get goals. And 
I don't think Huddersfield are going to be capable of scoring more than one goal if they can sneak one. But Man United's attack, we need to get back to how we were a couple of weeks ago. By doing that, we need Mata and Mkhitaryan creating more opportunities for Anthony Martial and Lukaku to try and take. And that is it for my starting 11 prediction and also the preview wrapped into one video instead of two. What more could you want, eh? Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, everybody. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.